I'm Moya Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Jim Igo, Senior Consultant at Slalom. Jim, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, Wyatt. Thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. Well, let me start by asking, what does IT modernization look like and mean to, in 2021 in government? Sure. You know, the meaning of IT modernization in 2021 likely varies depending on the current level of IT maturity within each organization. For early cloud adopters, they'll be looking at what new capabilities they can leverage and seeking innovative ways to power their IT development and infrastructure. For those organizations who are just getting started on the cloud transformation journey, they're likely doing some wayfinding and managing through some change. In all instances, organizations are looking to their consulting partners, up providers for advice and guidance on how to improve their IT ecosystems and better support their end users. At Slalom, we think of modernization as less of a snapshot in time and more of a perpetual journey that an entire organization is taking together. We believe modernization is more of a mindset that influences how organizations invest in their technology infrastructure. That is why when our clients approach us, we ensure that modernization is baked into everything we do for them. We are always searching for innovative ideas to assist organizations that allow them to make a more proactive posture toward their IT development and infrastructure. And when we talk about IT modernization today, we must acknowledge the human element and need for collaboration, coordination, and buy-in from all stakeholders across an organization. As we attempt to transform through connection in, and integration, an organization's IT shop cannot go it alone. This is true in both commercial and federal space. The success of a modernization strategy relies upon IT with the business and all other stakeholders in between. Our modernization, on our modernization and transformation engagements at Slalom, one of the first, if not the first activity we perform is discovery. During this phase, we look to understand not only the organization's technical landscape, but how the organization is aligned. We try to read the room, if you will, and get a better sense of how various stakeholders are feeling about a transformation. The data we gather during discovery helps us prepare to navigate conversations and even foster future relationships among stakeholders or even entire divisions. But the point I'm trying to make is that we cannot ignore the human element and that the success of modernization, plan modernization planning depends upon the alignment of people across the organization. Well, in your experience working with uh, government agencies, how did the pandemic affect the need to modernize more rapidly? Sure, so as we're all keenly aware, the pandemic forced or at least accelerated the adoption of telework in just about every industry around the globe. Anecdotally, it also helped to confirm a truth that many already suspected and that remote work is a viable and effective way of doing business. This means that most people, both employers, uh, employees and consumers are performing their business remotely and utilizing technology more frequently. With more and more people relying on technology to perform their jobs or do things like ordering groceries or you know, attending doctor's appointments, organizations had to rapidly modernize their systems to accommodate for a growing user base with increased expectations of availability and functionality. The more rapid the modernization, the quicker an organization can engage and empower users by offering a new digital and mobile tools that improve their overall user experience. And from a federal perspective, many agencies leveraged a pandemic to accelerate plans they had to modernize, like being more efficient with their resources and doing away with legacy processes that were delaying progress. All remotely. This demonstrates not only that the government can do it, but that with the right partners, they can continue to see the kind of rapid success they've been seeing. Well, next, what major priorities stand out still for modernization in government today? Sure. The priorities of the federal government are virtually identical to those of the private industry when it comes to the need to rapidly modernize its technology. Those, in pri those priorities include things like the need to constantly modernize their platforms, addressing security gaps and concerns, and improving customer experience. The challenge, of course, is to do all of these things without disrupting or jeopardizing their most important priority, which of course is completing their mission. I would also argue that the government is constantly battling the perception that they're always playing from behind in contrast to the private sector, 
in terms of the kinds of technology and, and solutions they build. But by partnering with the right vendors who are staying ahead of technology trends, implementing commercial best practices, it's allowing the federal government to be more proactive and less reactive. At Slalom, we partner every day with federal clients who are committed to modernizing their product ecosystems. Our teams are engaged and focused on retiring legacy technology infrastructure through a right fit cloud migration and then incorporating emerging technologies that fuel the type of experience in, that users expect in a modern and digital world. Our federal clients are constantly looking for new opportunities to innovate and leverage data intelligence. They desire things like automated case resolution that is faster and more accurate. And they are looking for more advanced use cases for machine learning to more accurately predict, handle, and resolve issues before they even occur. SLOM has found that the primary difference between the modernization of a product ecosystem for our federal clients versus some of the, com of the commercial clients is in the level of complexity. A federal product ecosystem can be rather intricate and require continuous assessment, maintenance, and improvement due to the implications of policy changes and various other factors. Given the complexity of their ecosystems, coupled with their critical missions of serving and protecting the American public, SOM believes it's essential for all of our federal agencies to be at the forefront of emerging technology. By doing so, they ensure their employees and customers have the best and most qualified tools at their disposal. And lastly, after modernization, what comes next? So SLOM's experience supporting both large and small IT ecosystems and the, really the intricacies involved in operating, maintaining, and transforming them has taught us that modernization is a continuous journey. So given the reliance on technology today and the pace in which it's evolving, organizations cannot afford to set it and forget it, or else they run the risk of quickly falling behind. So in light of that fact, I believe that what comes next is the continued modernization of cloud infrastructure, but less so from a tactical perspective. And what I mean by that is that migrating to the cloud is, is deliberate, you know, but benefiting from the cloud and bringing those benefits to the business is much more strategic helping CFOs, program managers, and other frontline staff understand how the cloud makes their lives better and easier is the key to making sure organizations do not lose momentum or retreat from progress. From a federal perspective, it's critical for agencies to find ways to have innovative contractors at their fingertips, freeing up its employees to focus on the mission and holding vendors accountable for bringing new technology to the table. And finally, I'll echo my colleague, Dave Euler, by reiterating Slalom's belief that organizations who, who will ultimately be the most successful are the ones that manage and embrace continuous change. Change is guaranteed, and it's how organizations deal with it and what attitudes they put forward that will make an organization successful. Some great points. Well, Jim Igo, thank you so much for joining us to share some of your insights about IT modernization in government. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. <laughs>